Hi, we will discuss today about sterilizing filtration. In aseptic processing, aseptic manufacturing process, sterilizing filtration is very important in removing the possible microorganisms in your product which is intended to be sterile and inject in, intended for injections. So, why first, first understand why we have to go for the sterilizing filtration. Let's go step by step to for better understanding why we need sterilizing filtration. When our product is not stable in heat, so it cannot be done or it cannot be sterilized through the terminal sterilization process. So if we cannot sterilize our product by heat, our solution we have to remove the bacteria or microorganism through filtration. So that's why we need to do sterilizing filtration to achieve a sterile product when the product is not stable to heat and we are going for the aseptic processing part of it. Even for the terminal sterilization, we need to filter it to point to micron or sterilizing filtration because to reduce the initial bio load. It does not mean that since we are using terminal sterilization, we can allow the as much as microbial load in the product. No, we have to take all the steps to remove the microbial load from the product. So coming to sterilizing filtration again, why we need because product cannot sustain the heat, we cannot go for the terminal sterilization, so we have to filter it. So what size of filter? So in older days, at initially 0.45 micron filters were used for the sterilizing filtration, but after the after the identification of the bacteria Brevendominus diminuta ETCC19146, I repeat Brevendominus diminuta ETCC19146, which has a size of average size of 0.3 micron, it was required that we need a smaller filter size, and that's how the 0.2 micron or 0.22 micron filter were came in picture. So now across the industry we are using 0.2 micron filter for the sterilizing filtration. So how it works? This filter has a complex structure. It's not sieve, but it's a complex structure which ultimately achieves the pore size of 0.2 micron, and it will effectively retain the microorganism which are 0.2 micron or above. And how to validate? So as per the guidance for industry September 2004, which is for the sterile finished pharmaceutical products, it includes that. You need to have a challenge organism or challenge product, challenge solution of Brevendominus diminuta with 10 raised to 7 uh, culture, which has a 10 raised to 7 uh, number of microorganisms within that solution per centimeter square. So, this is my challenge. Solution containing 10 raised to 7 microorganisms of Brevendominus diminuta per centimeter square, we have to filter it and we have to prove it that it retains all the bacteria. It gives a sterile final product. So this is how we need to validate. Again, for the testing, for for the incubation purpose, we can incubate the entire filter into the bacterial growth medium to see whether there is uh, whether we have achieved the sterility or not. We can incubate the entire filter uh, filtered bulk. But again, whether we need to know that whether the product has a properties which can inhibit the growth of Brevendominus diminuta, then we need to have alternate approaches to validate. Also, we need to know bio burden load in our product. When we are using for the sterilizing filtration, we should know what is my bio burden load in my unfiltered bulk product. This helps me to determine the initial bio load. Of course, when we are validating with 10 to 7 microorganism containing brevendominous diameter solution containing solution, then it effectively validates your filter, but still we need to know the bio burden of our product. What are the other factors? How much time we can use for a filter? Usually for the sterilizing filtration, the filter has to be used for single time. The single time use and you have to discard the filter. If at all you are using for the multiple uses, then you have to prove through the studies that it is possible to go for the multiple uses of a filter, but it is practically normally not done. We are using only for the one time for a product, a sterilizing filter, only one time use is there. Now how much contact time? So we need to have filter validation study either in house or through the uh, vendor who is providing or uh, vendor who is providing us the filter or the filter manufacturer filter validation study so that how much time solution can be retained how much solution we can filter it out how much bio load it will sustain how much how long you can use the filter so this is this comes this study this comes through the study of the filter validation this is that we need to know that how, how many liters of solution or how much product i can filter through a single filter and uh, Apart from this, a redundant filter is always used in aseptic filtration techniques. So one filter and another two filters in a series. How it helps? 
if one filter fails in the integrity the redundant filter will through redundant filter we can claim the stability of the product if only single filter is there and it fails and there is no assurance that product is filter is sterile or not so this is how it is important to have two filters in a series when we are going for the stylizing filtration in aseptic processing technology in terminal stylization if you are using one filter just for the bio burden reduction load then you can through your validation prove that it is okay but for aseptic you need two filters so that in case one fails you can save the product because other filter will be there so this is how redundant filter is used or required now what are the other factors which can affect the filtration efficiency filter efficiency first is viscosity of the solution so viscosity and surface tension of the solution so what is the viscosity and the surface tension of solution will determine whether we can use how effective the filter will be then ph what is the pressure differential what is the temperature what is the time duration so these are the few important factors which will determine your filter efficiency and it should all covered in your filter validation studies so hope this small video will help you to understand why we need stylizing filtration i'll be making more detailed video on this topic to better explain be with my channel pharma van and if you like you can subscribe also share to the friends to share the pharmaceutical knowledge through this beautiful medium of youtube thank you thank you very much